Hi guys, Alex from Online Tarot is here with a new pick a card and today we are doing your strengths and gifts uh, that you need to know about. So kind of go into dig a little bit deeper into what can help you to improve your life, some perks maybe that you don't realize about yourself, some perks that you don't have but you don't see, sometimes it happens. So um, we have three piles today. For pile number one we have this eagle eye stone for pile number two we have this red jasper stone and for pile number three we have a blue cult sedony okay choose your stone choose your pile and i will see you in timestamps you can find them and all the necessary information including my christmas special and one more option about how to get a um, discount for the personal reading you can find all of that in the description box under the video so don't forget to check it out so see you in a second with pile number one hey those who chose pile number one with this eagle eye stone so we're going to start with identifying your character and then we're gonna go deeper to find your strength strength and gifts that you need to know about so pile number one is for those who has been through a lot of disappointments it's not about your character it's about your experience it's like you've been through a lot of disappointments of uh, in your relationship area of your life so with relationships uh starting with your parents with your family i feel like siblings is very important as well so there have been a lot of maybe even marriages so you do have a lot of karma in regards to relationships family partners so on and so forth and you have definitely been through a lot you are one of these people who are investing a lot um, into any relationship but most likely you came to realization that you are the one investing and others are not and you're wondering why all right pile number one okay let's see so what are your strengths and gifts that you need to know about hmm. with this nine of swords here yeah. we have it again hmm First of all, your strength is your experience. Mm -hmm. You may not see it now. You may get triggered by this message now. But this is what I'm seeing here. So this experience has been given to you not just to be anxious about it or not just feel depressed and disappointed and people love life. But you can heal. You can learn. You can grow from it. Because this it has been given to you because you can... Mm, you have a very big potential with wisdom and wisdom is something that we pay a high price for so um, you can work with your experience and either you can become a therapist or some kind of healer or, um, you can become somebody uh, that will help others bring clarity because of your experience and make clearer choices understand what's happening what's going on and you can help others who are going through the same thing so basically you can come because of your experience it seems like yeah even though it's been difficult and it's still uh bringing you a lot of anxiety you can heal from it grow from it and even help others so there's something for you to consider um, looking at it from a different perspective mm, looking at your experience because it's, this is definitely karma but karma not in regards of punishing you but teaching you something there's definitely a big lesson that you need to learn and um, somehow you can mm, this experience that you have will either already has brought you uh, to your career or will do it or will do it with time it is mm, so you had it 
to be able to find your path and your kind of destiny um, something that you are very good at and how you can help others with just a little bit okay oh my pen you can see my pen now so let's see a little bit more so what are your strengths you need to know about mm -hmm. You are definitely multi-talented. And, okay, King of Swords in reverse. We have the King of Swords again. Mm -hmm. So you are definitely multi-talented, but you have been avoiding learning from your experience. Oh. It's a huge car passing by my window sorry about that so uh you need to also see that you are the one who will not give up when others will so you have this like there was a toy uh well there is a toy in it, the, it was a toy in Soviet Union, like you hit it, it falls down and it goes back and it falls down and it goes back, like it, you can never put it down. It always goes back upward, uh, up, upright. So um, you have this talent that where everybody else would stop trying or would give up, you won't. You're gonna continue, you're gonna continue doing it. So don't see yourself as somebody defeated because actually, you're not it's just you're not learning from what you've been given and you need to start doing it mm, because right now you're not looking at the situation clearly and you're kind of trying to i think you're trying to trick your karma or trick your destiny something like this you're trying to avoid working with your talents but your experience has been given to you to amplify your talents not to uh devalue you not to punish you but to amplify your talents to show you how you can use them so use them leave this energy of defeat behind you and look around and see this experience as as lessons okay let's see a little bit more of your quality so we have the four of acorns comfort and community it feels like you can um you um you can create this comforting and stable vibe for people around you you can take care of other people you can help them stabilize themselves stabilize them again the four feathers sanctuary and rest you're a healer of some sort maybe a therapist psychologist um medical worker but somehow you can help others get clarity and make clear choices clear your choices in life king of crystals this is the king of swords courage and commitment you are the king of swords it's not about the gender it's about the page of acorns discovering enthusiasm you came here to learn and ten of feathers oh sorry king, king of crystals this is the king of pentacles of course and the ten of feathers it's recovery and transformation so you guys you you've been through so much in order to learn and then to teach but you will always recover if you allow yourself to do that because you have very stable ground under your feet spiritual ground and character you have very strong bones like psychologically speaking mm -hmm. so you will always go upright as the story i told you about and um, if you get committed to learning from your experience you can actually help so many to recover to transform to heal and you can um, definitely make a living out of it.
one way or the other. Again, it may be psychology, therapy, life coaching, healing, can be even tarot reading, can be um, whatever you're doing, but it will be about helping others to understand, to learn, to have clarity, not just uh, to give them promises. Interesting. So, um, okay, this is what I have for you today, poll number one. Please let me know what you think about this message. And if you're in need of a personal reading, don't forget to check out the description box to see the details of my Christmas special. Uh, hope to talk to you soon and we're moving to pile number two. Hey, now. those who chose pile number two with this red Jasper stone. Let's see, we're starting with checking for whom, for whom this message is. And what we see here is the three of wands. I don't know what's going on outside of my window. Actually, I live in a rather quiet place, but something is going on today. Um, so we have the Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Pile number two. Mm. I feel like pile number two is for those who are kind of avoiding uh, the current moment. You are either focused on your past or focused on your future. And you are either there or here, but either there or there, but you're never here. You're never now. Um, so you may have a tendency to get stuck in the past or to worry about your future. And it's hard for you to acquire balance and be in the moment. Be kind of between the past and the future. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see. So what are your strengths and gifts you need to know about? Hmm, the emperor, the death. Ten of cups, page of pentacles. Eight of salt. So, um, uh -huh. you definitely don't see your strength, and uh, one of your main lessons is to learn to let go of people's expectations. Like, if you let go of people's expectations, you can become this emperor that we see. We can become, it's like your sign will rise, your sun will rise, you will, uh, you will realize how strong you are. Because at the moment, this, this, other people's, it's either other people's expectations, or maybe you've seen the picture from TV, movies, so on, this successful success, this super, being super motivated, somehow you are living in accordance with other people's beliefs or expectations, or other things, and you need to learn to let go of them, because right now they are not, not allowing you to, to be who you are, who you are supposed to be, so kind of your potential is locked, but you have a very big potential. You have a potential of an emperor, but it's locked now because of you trying to live according to what other people think, other people do, other people believe, other people expect from you and so on and so forth. So you need to learn to let go of it and you will kind of expand. You will expand. Let's see. Mm. What you need to know about your strengths and gifts. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Pile number two. You, you, you. <laughs> okay, let me see a little bit more. Okay. And again, the death. The Emperor and the Death. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, I'm getting shivers. So, again, it's interesting. Today I'm getting um, kind of more messages of 
advice advice how to how to get to the potential to the potential again the emperor also wanted to come up the nine of pentacles and the emperor so guys uh you have a very big strong a very big um karmic task one of the biggest tasks that you have is to uh, to transform we have again the death and i ask to clarify it we have the moon and the five of pentacles so somehow you see yourself as not having many gifts many talents much value it's like but it's a total illusion total illusion mostly most likely somebody told you told you that maybe um you're too too immature for your age you're too silly you're this you're that somebody told you that somebody taught you that a while ago and through this, you've locked your huge potential. This is for the Wheel of Fortune, the star. Again, the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. You can uh, create your own business, maybe a non-profit. Uh, well, non-profit, but you will definitely be well off here. So you you have a huge potential, a potential that to to change your life completely to go from zero to hero to uh, i don't know to travel the world to become um, something that people don't see you something that you don't believe you can become so you have a very big potential but for now it's locked with somebody's wor words somebody's rules for you somebody has told you something mean most likely and you don't see yourself as if having much value but you have so uh and it's gonna take some time for you to you see he has a shovel you gotta dig <laughs> you gotta dig dig deep into yourself and rediscover maybe start therapy something because this potential that you can uh, have can change not just your life but others as well it feels almost like you can turn the wheel of fate for others and why people become successful why people become rich it's when they bring value to others when they um, help to solve other people's problems the more problems or um for the bigger amount of people you can solve a problem if you have a solution for a big problem or you can solve it for many people then you you reach this level of um and again, my mind is spacing, sorry about that. Then you can reach the level of um, emperor, of the emperor, right? So you can definitely transform your life and other people's life. But first, you gotta like dig deep into yourself and see it. See it, believe it, don't listen to what other people tell you about yourself. There is something of a tremendous value in you. It's up to you to discover it. Okay, pile number two, the emperor people. Let's see a little bit more. The tower, release and revelation. You gotta, again, we had two death cards, two emperor cards. You gotta transform, you gotta and release the world. Yeah, you, you have to acquire the clarity about who you are, what you are, because right now, your vision about yourself is absolutely clouded. You don't see the truth. You don't see the reality. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pen Pentacles, action and drive. So you need to start acting and also realize that it's going to take time for you to dig this up. Queen of Acorns, Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And this Five of Pentacles energy is a challenge for you. A challenge to grow not a challenge to give up so uh, you are actually you're not the five of Pentacles person you're the Queen of Pentacles person and the Queen of Pentacles is the uh, the embodiment of resourcefulness it's somebody who creates resources uh, whatever it is it can be money it can be um, intelligence it can be uh, helping others it can be so many things the queen of pentacles she creates resources and again it's not about the gender it's about the quality uh, of your character so you are somebody who can 
create a lot for yourself and for others you just need to see the situation as a challenge somebody whatever somebody told you taught you it's a challenge to overcome not to comply with it for sure because with your potential of course it's your choice to bring this potential to life or not to do it i'm not telling you what to do but if you want to know who you truly are stop believing others dig deep and you will see how much you can actually achieve in this life and create in this life and what i'm also seeing here your mm, your success will be connected with creating something important for others turning this wheel of fate for others so improving their lives helping others so it's really important for you and for the world what you can do so pile number two uh let me know what you think about this reading this is what i have for you today and if you want to make sure about your personal situation don't forget that christmas special is running at the moment you can find the details in the description box under the video hope to talk to you soon and we're moving to pile number three now hey those who chose pile number three with this blue called suddenly let's see for whom this pile is Ooh interesting we have two of swords and the page of wands and the two of cups so we're going to identify the person people um kind of people for whom this message is and then we're going to see what strength and gifts you need to know about maybe you're not seeing them so we have two of swords the page of wands the two of cups your interesting people well, number three, you are those who um, make people see the good in life, make people fall in love with life, make people take the blindfold off of their eyes. So either with your positive character, positive demeanor, positive nature, childlikeness, not childishness, but childlikeness, it's like you are mm, smiling a lot you're enjoying the small things in life and you kind of you see world as children do sometimes so you are open to to the world and uh, or maybe you are capable of showing it to people maybe you're capable of making them see the good things the positive things in life right so you kind of somehow you are helping people to see the good side of life to see the um, beauty of the world or maybe even to find something to live for when they don't see where they're going um also there is not just the positivity but you may be also just by talking to people you can help them to find um their their path what they're good at their talents their abilities to to see their own potential yeah it's like you bring the spark to their eyes and they finally are able to see something mm, let's see file number three so let's see about your strengths and gifts that you need to know about You're gonna become mm, interesting. <laughs> okay, why? So The strength and gift here i feel like you you may have lost 
m maybe you, you've lost money or you've lost many things in life but each time maybe you've changed professions or you've moved around a lot and each time you are capable of even though you're afraid even though you didn't see the way out you are you are capable of finding your path even in the darkness in complete darkness even you don't see you don't feel like you have anything to fight with you'll find the way you'll find the way you can find a way out of every situation and by the way you may have you may have experienced a lot of situation like with this devil here with the eight of swords the situation where you felt like the world is binding you like you have no no arms no legs no no opportunities no possibilities you you, you can do nothing but you find the way out always and you are capable of making a living a very good living one more thing i'm getting here that you will become very stable financially at least very stable financially maybe even very um very uh rich very much well off later in the second half of your life not not when you are very young in the second half of your life you can you will be able to do that even though um how to put it you've been experiencing a lot of limiting situations in order to train you to teach you something they were not to punish you but they were to teach you to overcome them to become uh, stronger in this area and also one of the other things is that um, you need to learn to not see with your physical eyes but learn to see with your intuition because sometimes your physical eyes cannot see a way out but your intuition can tell you so you need to learn to rely on your inner vision and your inner vision is full it's it's insane it's insane and seriously it can help you find a way out of any situation no matter how difficult or entangled it is and i feel like it is connected with finances as well so when you are encountering some limitations when you see that maybe you're getting less money or something look at this as a lesson like what i can see here but with my inner vision because your inner vision is here to guide you out so it's these limitations are existing for you to learn to see with spiritual eyes you know i hope you know what i mean because your uh, financial stability and success is connected with uh, spirituality, psychology, or creativity. Because it's the same source. Uh, like spirituality and creativity come, come from the same channel. The same source. Mm -hmm. So again, when you don't see a way out, look inside your inner vision will show you because it's it's so bright for me this card speaks it's like the sun but in spiritual realm it's like your spiritual vision can show you can bring you to the light can bring you out of any situation so you need to trust your intuition mm -hmm. let's see and you are definitely capable of um, improving your financial situation greatly. Let's see more what you need to know about your strengths and gifts. Again, the star. But for me here, I'm sensing it's kind of the connection with the spiritual. The connection with the spiritual, with the creative source. With the source of creativity and spirituality, right? The creator is the source of creativity. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I feel like it's important for you to know that you're definitely going to be well off. <laughs> you're definitely going to be well off. <laughs> there is a lot of finances here. So maybe you are struggling with your financial situation here. You will do it, but you're going to have 
a lot of obstacles on your way, a lot of limitations, a lot of moments when you're gonna feel like you've lost, but you won't. Eventually, eventually, it's like after you overcome a lot of struggles and turbulations, this financial stability will be kind of a present from the universe to you for going through so much in life. You will be like um, happy and you will finally be able to relax. It's like the first half of your life will be hard work, overcoming, struggle, and they maybe not the whole, but there will be a time when you will be able to finally like, okay, I can relax now. And you will have your stability and your finances. And I feel like you will also be putting it to the good use. You will maybe, again, running a nonprofit or helping uh, charities, helping others. You will be using it. By the way, through through helping others, you're also you know, financially, you're going to improve your financial situation the more you give the more you get from the universe the empress came up yeah came out from this deck this is beauty and abundance so um don't give up you'll get there you'll get your abundance through the empress what she's doing she's taking care of others she's helping others supporting others showing them how to love life right mm-hmm Control and security. Synergy and gratitude. And also we have the energy and results. The eight of acorns. So guys, yeah. You will definitely have your results. You are hard workers. And you are very much connected with your spiritual path. So through many turbulations you will um, find yourself building up your wealth your financial stability but it will not be for your personal use only uh, it will be how to say you can of course you can do it for yourself but you can have much more if you share if you share if you help others because you know um, it feels like these limitations were given to you to understand how big a struggle uh, financial problems can be. So you would be able, when you have the money, you will be able to put them to the best use. And by the way, by sharing, you're not going to lose. You will only get more. The more you share, the more you get, the more you share, the more you get. You get the picture, right? So, um, so don't give up. Don't give up. Continue working with this Eight of Pentacles here. You will get your results for sure we can see so your ability to never give up to continue to work to find the the way out through your spiritual side will totally bring you to the time and place where you will be able to help others and share your wealth and stability with others and amplify it one more time hmm. Well, pile number three, this is really interesting. So let me know what you think about this message. And if you're in need of a personal reading to clarify your personal situation, the information how to get a personal reading with me is down below in the description box together with the info about my Christmas special and about one more way how to get a discount for your reading with me. So hope to talk to you soon. Bye.